Buzan HQ. Today I have Kat with me talking about how to set up a business. Now we've covered quite a lot now Kath. What else is there that we need to think about when it comes to setting up a business? Well one of the things you might want to consider um, is looking at insurance. Uh, you're dealing with essentially members of the public until you get to know them and they become part of your team. Um, and so, you know, whenever you are going out to the public, uh, you need to think about what is the worst that could happen. And that's what insurance is for. So when you're delivering training, you might want to think about having some public liability insurance. Um, if you search business insurance on the Internet, you'll get screeds and screeds of information. Um, all different types. One of the ones that you should think about is public liability insurance. That will cover you if something happens. If you're on in your premises and say a bookshelf fell on top of someone, terrible, but you know, they might need financial assistance to recover from that. They're going to want some kind of compensation. Um, that's where public liability insurance would come in. Someone comes to your premises or your venue, something happens to them, their heart injured, whatever, and there's a claim. So um, public liability insurance. Um, you might also want to think about uh, about yourself when you're going to deliver your training. Um, think about travel insurance if you're you know, like making hotel reservations or travel bookings, train, plane, automobile. <laughs> um, you want to think about making sure that if you have to cancel, you you can protect that outlay and, and, and claim that back. So I would think about maybe travel insurance. Travel insurance, which also covers you for any equipment you may be carrying. So your, your laptop away from your home base, your travel insurance should cover that. If you fall ill, if you're going to another part of the country and you or you know you're in a country uh, where you may have to pay for health care if you have an accident your travel insurance should cover you for that um if you are your business you might also want to think of um insuring you as the business and that is a, a type of insurance called key man insurance it's key personnel basically and most insurance companies will will look at it's usually kind of executive levels of companies or senior managers but if you are the business it's worthwhile thinking about covering yourself if something happens to you you might still have rent to pay you might still have cost overheads that you have to cover in your business something happens to you your key man insurance will help you to cover that and the last one I would, well, there, there's two actually. One, another one, obviously, if you've got um, office premises, you want to think about contents insurance. Mm -hmm. um, and if, if you own the building, you will also want to think about buildings insurance. Um, probably way down the line, probably not going to apply to one TBLI doing training, but, but worth having in the back of your mind. And the last one that I would talk about would be employer's liability. If you are an employer, if you take on, um someone to do your accounts or to do your admin or to do your organize your training for you or whatever to carry your projector to the training um, mm -hmm. if you're employing that person then you will have to have employer's liability insurance in the uk that is law um i would imagine it's the same worldwide um but in any case it's a good thing to have because if something happens to that person who's working for you while they're working for you, if they have some injury, illness, some kind of incident, you want to make sure that they are looked after. And so I would definitely recommend employer's liability insurance. So, you know, there's just a few things to think about. There are a ton of other things and I'm sure we'll cover them in later videos, but for now insurance is one that I would really put fairly high up on your priority list. Yeah, I think you're, you're on the head there. Insurance is really important just for protecting yourself um, as well as protecting your employees and the members of the public or the TBLIs that you are working with. So thanks very much, Kath. Thank you.